Greetings, detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the non-pumping boiler feed pump. While teaching a steam boiler class, an attendee approached during the break and asked, I can't keep my boiler running. It keeps going off on low water. We replaced the low water cutoff and the boiler feed pump, but it's still doing it. My tech is stumped and doesn't know what else to do, he said. I agreed to stop by his building the next day. Looking around the boiler room, I saw a steady plume of steam coming from the boiler feed tank vent, enough steam to cover everything inside the room with moisture. This is dangerous as the high humidity could cause an electrical short in the electrical panels. I checked the boiler feed pump and it was running. Looking at the discharge pressure on the pressure gauge, I saw there was no pressure. Could it be another defective pump? I doubted it. On a hunch, I opened the boiler feed tank drain and measured the water temperature with my thermometer. The water flashed to steam as soon as it came out of the hose bib. The water temperature reading was 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Based on the temperature of the condensate, and the flash steam coming from the boiler feed tank vent. I suspected one or more of the traps were leaking. The steam pressure setting for the boiler was between 12 and 14 PSI. This is typical for a brewery steam boiler. At these pressures, the steam temperature is between 244 and 248 degrees Fahrenheit. The condensate temperature is between 10 and 20 degrees cooler than the steam temperature. In this case, it was less than 10 degrees. Using my thermal imaging camera, I checked the piping downstream of the steam traps in the room. The thermal scan showed elevated temperatures coming from the discharge pipe of the two steam traps. An infrared thermometer may be used as well. The infrared contactless thermometers work well on black iron pipes, but not as well on copper tubes. The elevated discharge temperature is an indication of a leaking steam trap. I closed the valves in the condensate pipe downstream of the steam traps until I saw the plume of steam drop in volume. I disassembled the float and thermostatic trap. Just a warning, the pipes were scorching and I needed to use gloves. After cleaning the debris from inside the trap and inspecting the components, I reinstalled it. The system started working the way it was designed. The level of flash steam dropped significantly. The boiler feed pumps would not operate before cleaning the traps because the condensate temperature was too high. When the feed water pump starts, the pressure inside the pump volume is reduced and this pressure drop caused the condensate to flash the steam. The pump can only pump water and not steam. As a result, the pumps ran but didn't pump anything. This caused the boiler not to have enough water and tripped the low water cutoff. Luckily, the steam did no damage to the pump impeller. When you see steam coming from the vent on a condensate or boiler feed tank, the problem should be investigated. The steam should only be a wisp of steam and not a steady plume. In addition, the steam leaving the vent is dollars being wasted. This is water the owner paid to heat and treat chemically. If you would like to contact me, I have my contact information below. This includes my cell and the two websites that I publish. This is all the books I've written so far. I have 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon.com. I write articles for several trade publications, and they are online as well. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.